Welcome to the Hocus Pocus Magic Shop. Let me know if you need anything. It's me, Mom. I was playing around with my magic spells and I turned myself into my friend just to see if it would work. And I can't change myself back now. I need your help. Yeah, this one's all you, honey. Well, at least you did your magic spell, right? You look exactly like Alt Girl. Yeah, Quantico is never gonna believe it. You must teach me. I wanna turn into someone else. I wanna turn into myself again. Help! Well, hello everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we're making OMG Witch A Baby per popular request. Plus, we were gonna make her eventually. It was only a matter of time. So, we've got plenty of stuff to work with. Grunge Girl's got all the right things except for the hair and, well, the face paint. But we can fix all of that up. Starting with the first magical step, a haircut. I'm gonna get some hot water and dunk her head in first to get the plastic soft and get her head off easier. Plus, wet hair is gonna be a little bit easier on me to clean up once we do start cutting it. Remember, always use caution when crafting. Okay, we should be good to take it off now. <laughs> it sucked it right back in. Now we begin to cut off her hair. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the hairs with this tweezer from that tiny little neck hole and then we'll get some paint on her. Okay, time to start getting the hair out from inside her neck. I don't think she has a lot. I know Miss Independent had a lot of hair in her neck. She even had a whole braid in there, but I can't be too sure. So to make sure, I'm gonna use a disposable spoolie and just swish it around in there and see what we end up with. Oh, okay, that's a good amount of hair. Mm-hmm, and that's not it. Let's keep pulling. She had a pretty decent amount of hair in there. And it's a good thing we got it out. Okay, now I'm gonna get some white paint onto her head because that's the color of hair I'm going to be rooting. But before we do that, I'm going to buff her head so that, oh, so that her head is a little bit on the rougher side and hopefully the paint will stick a little bit better. Now it's time to root her some brand new hair. I'm using white noise from the doll planet.
all of her hair she is ready for some glue I'm gonna get some glue right in there glue all of this hair down then we're gonna go boil wash her once I boil wash her hair we're gonna be able to give her a nice sleek hairdo for the glue I like to use fabric tack but if you're doing this at home you could also use Eileen's once I've got a huge whopping glob of glue in her head just gonna tap it on each of the sides just to kind of make myself feel better that the glue is all over the place and covering all the hairs. Then I'm gonna let her dry like this for two hours. Stay. Okay, time to go boil wash this crazy hair. And I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. It's time to cut her hair. It's super long and I've got it tied off to the side with a clear elastic. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit. You guys know I like my OMG doll hairs long. Now that her hair is done, it's time to paint her face. I'm gonna remove some of what she's got going on with some nail polish remover, change up her eye color, her lip color, and then we can start on her outfit.
at it, why don't we just recycle some more of Alt Girl's outfit pieces? I'm going to take the shirt she has and I'm going to paint it with some fabric paint. Ooh, going to decide which colors to do it as I go. You'll have to watch and find out. I'm gonna make her a hat using warbler, which is pretty much moldable plastic that once you get it warm with a blow dryer or a heat gun, you can shape it into whatever shape you want because it turns gummy.
final last step is to finish everything up with some matte varnish. So you'll ever then and You guys, I forgot her blush uh, and I already varnished her face. That's okay. We'll just finish this first layer up, then add some blush. Because I love my blush. My dolls aren't complete without it. Can't believe I forgot blush. Mom, what's taking so long? I need to be in my own body before school starts. I don't see an end to this nightmare. Stop being so dramatic. I'm almost done. Well, it's not so bad. Our school is pretty cool looking. Yeah, just imagine if there's two of you, you guys can be twins. Okay, it's done. I've perfected the magic potion. Just one sip of this and you will be back to your old self. Well, I sure hope so. Here goes nothing. <coughs> Ew, Mom, what did you put in this? Uh-oh. I feel funny. I think it's working. Uh... Wow! What? What happened? Am I a dog or something? No, I'm myself again. Thanks, Mom, you're the best. I'm never going to mess with any magic that I don't know ever again. Well, there you have it. We finally have OMG Witchy Baby. You guys get to choose her name in the comment section. Last time I chose Sunshine for OMG Dawn, but I'm kind of leaning more towards Summer. I think that's really cute. And Donnie is also a very catchy one that I don't feel awkward using when we do our role plays. But let's bring the focus back on to OMG Witchy Baby. What have we done for her? She's got a whole head of brand new witchy white hair. Let's give her a twirl so you guys can see the back. It is a long and sleek and straight. She's got a boater hat that I made out of Warbler to match her family, but we can also borrow Shadow's hat. That was the first plan, but I ended up making her something a little custom and more like her family. But, oh no, oh no, it's about to fall. Shadow's cap doesn't look half bad on her either. So we can share them between our OMG dolls. Sharing means caring. For now, let's go back to the boater hat. For her face up, she's got new eyebrows, new eyes. I gave her a little bit of white eyeshadow with her cat eye black lipstick. She's also got a crescent moon on one cheek and a star on the other. And we've kept the ooh, jewelry that Alt Girl had. I didn't feel the need to change it out. It still looks cute on her. For the top and pretty much most of the outfit, I borrowed Alt Girl's stuff. So here goes her top that I painted black and gray and a little bit of white and gold in there. It says Witch A on the front with a crescent moon and some clouds that you guys probably can't see through there. I also painted her nails black to match the rest of the theme she has going on and gave her some netted white gloves. With all the black, I felt like maybe we can add in a little bit of a mix of colors with white and orange, which we have for her shorts. Her shorts I painted orange and black stripe, like the rest of the family. And the boot, we kept Alt Girl's boots. Didn't need to change those there. And that completes her entire look. I actually am super happy with how she turned out. I don't think I would change her one single bit. And the rest is up to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this OMG makeover, click the thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the Cupcake Squad and join us in on the fun. And that is it for now. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to name her in the comment section. Bye for now.